Well, hello, YouTube. This is a little different start to a video of mine. I am in the city. Which you don't see me do on film very often. Yes, I do ride around town now and again. <laughs> it's not all just beautiful mountains and waterfalls and all of that stuff. Which is gonna make an interesting edit because interestingly enough, I generally do not do a lot of cutting in my talking bits because there's always something to see. So I will have to try to make this one, at least at this little section of it, a little interesting. So I I'm in the city because one, it is cold and it has been cold and there has been a lot of snow in various places and all of the foothills have snow. So pretty much almost anything scenic that I might try to go to is covered in snow. So that is the situation. But what we are going to do is go to what might just be the best view in all of Portland. And I went to the wrong frickin' street. Oh well. As I was saying, we are going to what might be the best view in the entire city of Portland. I will show you the view when we get there and you can tell me what you think. I don't know if it is or not, but it's one that I would consider maybe the best view. Now, one thing you may notice is some new additions like this, that, that, I went a little, how do you say, Black Friday crazy, and I bought some stuff. Which is really in a hopes that what happens is that I bring you guys all better footage. The idea really wasn't so much even the picture quality, but what I really wanted was the video stabilization that the newer stuff has that my old cameras did not. Nothing I had was stabilized on my old setup. Which made, especially the off-road, quite interesting. What I'm really hoping is that you are seeing Dewey Rides right now in crystal clear HD. I don't really know if you are, and I don't know if this video is going to make it out. I'm just trying to figure out some of the fucks. That's why I hate riding on the freeway in the city. Yeah, but the idea was to stabilize the footage, give you guys all a better picture so that it wasn't quite as wobbly and disorienting and all of that stuff because sometimes on a lot of my stuff I just don't get a second chance to refilm it if it's really bad because I could be a thousand miles away from home. So I must tell you I am a little disappointed with myself because this is actually the first time I have ridden in a couple of months now. Um, you certainly saw and I talked about how cold it was on New Year's Day and why I didn't get a ride in, which Rick and I normally do. But pretty much the entire month of November and December here in Portland, it poured down rain. We were quite a bit behind on our annual rainfall for the year. And we ended up surpassing our average annual rainfall by a fairly good margin because we had so much rain those last couple of months. The one weekend that it was nice, I was in California visiting my parents for Thanksgiving. So unfortunately, 
I couldn't get out and ride that weekend. But I'm on the bike today, which is good. It feels great to be out riding again. And just in front of me now, you can see where it is that we're going. That mountain right in front of me is an old volcanic mound or cone that is one of the higher spots right in the city of Portland. And because it's one of the highest spots, you get a spectacular view. So that is called Rocky Butte. And there's a park up at the very top of it, which is the goal for today. It isn't maybe the normal fun twisty ride that everybody has come accustomed to or the outdoorsy trip, kind of long day riding broken down to 10 or 12 minutes. Instead, you get a bit of a vlog from me with some scenery at the end, hopefully. And a little bit of a urban Portland. Which can <laughs> be interesting on its own, I guess. Some uh, wildlife encounters of a different kind. Interestingly enough, it's not too crazy right through here. Sometimes this area is a bit of a mess. This used to be one of the worst parts of town that you could go to. It's still not a great part of town, but it has actually cleaned up quite a bit. And some of the problems have moved elsewhere. But we are gonna get some twisties, actually. It's not very long. It's maybe a mile up there, if that. Um, but we get to climb that. We get to climb up Rocky Butte. So what I will do, though, to make this a very normal Dewey Rides vlog for you all is cue the music montage. So that right behind me, right there, is Mount Hood. And you get a spectacular view of it over the part of East Portland that this sits above. And if you turn around just the other way here, you get a spectacular view of Mount St. Helens as well. So this is a pretty cool spot with an amazing view to get to see both of those mountains that way. Now this is again the top of a little volcanic outcrop, but it's right in this middle of the city of Portland cannot meet this view but as you can probably hear by my audio which is probably not very good because it's quite windy up here but it is also cold so I'm gonna get back on the bike and get riding home well everybody so that was Rocky Butte I do hope that you enjoyed this video like I said, I wanted something scenic, but it's pretty hard. I don't know if you could see where the snow line was in the foothills on some of those clips from up at the top there, but the snow level is very low, which makes getting to the scenic stuff on the bike quite difficult. Tell you what, I am jealous of those people's view. fantastic little gym of a park that we have here right in the city of Portland. I was surprised that on a crystal clear day like today that there were not more people up here enjoying this. But hey everybody that is it for this vlog. There's not really anything else to see. So I thank you all very much for watching this one and until next time it's Dewey out. <laughs>